Hey everyone, uh, today I've got an extremely exciting unboxing from thecubicle.com. Uh, I'd really like to thank Jules and the rest of the cubicle uh, for shipping this package out. Uh, in here should be a new stack mat cable because mine currently doesn't work, as well as four puzzles. Uh, those puzzles are the Diane V2M Megaminx, the Angstrom MGC 4x4, MGC 7x7, and the Gans Cube. Uh, and I, I don't really have much else to say, I'm just really excited, so let's just get into it with these scissors. I don't know where to cut from, I usually just cut from like a corner. That's the easiest place to cut, although it's not it's not really efficient, but I think it's fine. If I can just make an incision, and then I can just kind of cut along the side. Okay. Hopefully I can just rip it open now. No, I can't, okay. Oh, okay. That should be enough. Okay, so here's the stack mat cable. I won't really talk about that because it... Or whatever. Uh, MGC 7x7. Um, I've been wanting a new 7x7 for a while. I'm really unhappy with my current main, the Spark M. Uh, here's... That's a weird box. Okay, Dian V2 on Megaminx. We have the Angstrom MGC M 4x4. Oh god, this is really messy. Uh, let's just move this out of the way for now. And the Gans Cube M. I don't know what order I should unbox these puzzles in. Uh, here's a receipt and business card. Um, I'll just move this out of the way as well. And that's that's the whole package. Okay, uh, let's put that on the floor. I'm gonna start... Oh god, this is actually a pretty hard decision. I think I'll start with the 4x4. Because I already have an MGC, it's just I can't find a good setup on it, which is why I got a different setup for it. But like, I already know the puzzle itself pretty well. Um, so I'll just start with this. Um, because, you know, save the best for last. Okay, I know a few of my friends have gotten this puzzle already. Uh, I know my friend Tanish has one. And I think Ram Thakar has one as well. I don't know. I just know it's probably pretty, pretty good. Um, okay, first turns. Whoa, okay. I'd expect it to be a lot slower out of the box. Um, so, it's not too luby on the outside. I can definitely feel that there is lube, it's just not to the point where it's slippery or anything like that. Um, it has a very plush feeling. Um, I can definitely tell that there's a lot of lube in it and that it will get faster with break-in. Um, let's see. Tensions are decent. I might loosen them a little bit, as you see. I got a slight lockup. But otherwise, I'm excited to see how this breaks in. I feel like algorithms are already flowing decently well, so like I, I'm hoping this gets really good. Um, oh, maybe not. Uh, but yeah, uh, it has a plush feeling, and it's pretty slow. Not too slow, though. Um, I just know that it's going to take some breaking to actually um, get good. Really cool, really cool bag though. Um, I just, you also have this thingy, which is also cool. Let's just get that out of the way. Uh, nice. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the plastic. Uh, what's next? What's next? I'm going to do, I think I'll do the Mega Minx next. Um, then I'll do the skew probably, and then the 7x7. So here's the Dyn V2M Mega. I don't know much about it. I know that a lot of people like to replace the gray with black caps. I didn't get those black caps. Uh, I don't know if they're worth it. Some people really like them, but this is this is a, a really weird packaging. Uh, I'm assuming I have to cut it, so I'll do that. I'll just cut it and probably just rip it open. Yeah, okay. See, I'm not... Whoa, okay. So you've got... It's glossy plastic. Um, this is hard to tell. You can kind of see here. There's very slight ridges around um, the perimeter of the, each of the faces, which is cool. Uh, the size, I can already tell, is a lot smaller. I have my, Meg my Yuhu V2 and Megaminx here. Um, and you can see there's a pretty considerable difference. Uh, and that difference is just going to be even larger once I actually solve on this puzzle. Uh, let's get into first turns. Whoa, okay. 
Yeah, so... This is already reminding me of the GAN just a little bit, but it's it's already way better, like, out of the box. Um, it's a lot faster. It's so much smoother. Um, it just feels so much more fluid. It feels like I can actually turn it. It feels really stable, too. Um, I think... Yeah, I know the GAN mag makes... I don't know if it was just my tensions, but it liked to flex a lot, and it was just really hard to turn. But this one... It's a little fast, but I can still control it decently well, and it's not flexing badly at all. It's just really nice turning. And the size isn't really a problem for me, actually. I know a lot of people who switched from the Yoohoo didn't really like the size difference, but I don't know. Like, I can definitely tell there's a size difference, but it's not really that prominent. Like, I can still turn it pretty quickly, I think. So, yeah. Really nice stuff. Um, let's see. God. I'm not very warmed up. Okay, that was bad turning, but... That's also a really nice puzzle, so... Uh, let me check what's in here quickly. I don't know if it's that important. Let's see. You got extra springs. You have... A bag and a screwdriver. Okay, so standard stuff. Uh, let me just put everything back in here like that. Okay, let's move on. So that's the Dyn V2 Omega, also really looking really nice. Let's get into the Gantz Cube. So this is the one puzzle, or people are. Just, I, what I just know about this puzzle is that like everyone thinks it's the best. Like it's one of those cubes that's like. Practically, objectively the best. Almost like the Chi Clock. Uh, I don't know if it's to that extent, but like, I just, I've just heard it's a lot better than the other cubes out there. I'm really liking the shades. Uh, they're really fluorescent and saturated. Um, let's see, I'm gonna quickly cut in here. I'll just cut around here and then just open it up. Okay. So I've got it open. Um, let's get rid of the plastic. Nice classic GAN box. You gets probably the same thing as a 303 box. Um, in here, let's see. I'm assuming it's like extra nuts or something like that. I don't know. Uh, GAN bag. Um, oh, this is like the XS. It has the similar dual tension adjustment system, whatever they're called. A uh, bunch of unnecessary pamphlet stuff. Um, but yeah. If I don't like the tensions here, I'll, I'll probably try out the other blue things. Uh, okay. Gans Cube. Uh, so, it doesn't have those indented caps that I'm used to, like the, on the Aoyun, but I don't think that should be much of a problem for turns. Okay. So... Like the Gan Pura, it is like a little slow out of the box, I can tell. Yeah, it's definitely a little slow. But I really do like how... My turning tends to be... It seems to be really flu... Nope. In general, it's pretty fluid, my turning. And I think it's really stable and it allows me to turn relatively quickly without too many lockups. Uh... Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to do more setup because it is still slow for my liking. Yeah, I can definitely feel there's like it's there's a lot of drag and it feels a little sandy, uh, just like the Ganpure out of the box. So I'm I'm assuming that if I set it up well, it's gonna turn out like the Ganpure, and I really like that puzzle. So, but yeah, um, my favorite thing about it so far is probably the shades. I really like how they look, especially compared to the Moyu shades. Um, yeah, not that that's gonna exactly like make me faster all of a sudden, but I just like them. Uh, so, cool. Let's just move this out of the way. Um, finally, let's get to the MBC 7x7. I'm really excited about this because I've been kind of demotivated to practice 7x7 because I'm using the Spark M right now, and mine's just bad. I don't know if it's my setup or, like, the Spark actually is that bad. I just don't like it. I don't like mine, I mean. Okay, here we go. I don't know what took me so long. More plastic to get rid of. Cool. Ugh, okay. MG6 7x7. 
Uh, the box reminds me of the 4x4. It's it's really weird. Oh, I can just slide it. I just pry it off like that. Okay. Um, let's see. What do I open it from here? Like this? Yeah, okay. The boxes are always the most fun part of the unboxing experience. Here it is. Um, Alright, even more packaging to deal with. That's cool. Let's just cut it open. Like so, and just rip it open. Okay. Cool. Let's... Once again, nice shades. Uh, pretty cool. I think these are just standard Moyu shades. Maybe the red is a little brighter. I don't know. But let's get into first turns. And okay. Alright. Yeah, so... Um, out of the box, it is feeling like the 6x6 with the feeling. It's like, it's really bubbly feeling. It's kind of, it's kind of like the Aoshi 6x6, but like as a 7x7, it has that sort of Moyu feeling kind of, I don't know. Um, the magnets are definitely stronger than on the 6x6, I think. Um, but that should help with like through at your stage. Like you can see, I can turn decently well. Um, yeah, it definitely is a little sandy and slow right now, but that's something that a little break-in can easily fix. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess I can just do a quick checkerboard. It's pretty nice so far. I'm um, definitely going to have to do more setup on it. But for the time being, I'm really liking how it is. Yeah, there isn't much to say. Uh, I just know that it's feeling nice. And I'm assuming that I won't be popping or doing bad lockups. Here is my spark right now. And it's interesting. Like, if I turn too fast at all, I'll probably get a lockup. Um, not right now, but oftentimes I will get a really bad lockup, and that's never fun. So hopefully this will, this cube won't have that issue. Okay, all right. That is. Oh, oh I hate that noise. Okay. Uh. That's all my puzzles. Uh, once again, I'd like to. Really thank everyone at the Cubicle for shipping this puzzle out to me. Uh, here are the puzzles. Why did I put this back in the box? What am I doing? Uh, here they are, all in one view. Uh, they're really nice stuff. Really nice stuff. Let's see. Once again, thanks to the Cubicle. I will be posting individual reviews on these in the coming week, hopefully, uh, which I hope you guys will enjoy. Uh, yeah, I guess that's all I have to say. This unboxing is getting pretty long, so yeah, thanks for watching.